Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from the Turkish Superliga. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? At the moment, he's playing with great confidence. Every time he gets the ball, he looks like he's going to score, as his record in recent times will suggest. Three goals in the last three games. He's been brilliant. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, no surprise really, they're matching up here, but there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. And the match is underway. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Crossing possibilities. There wasn't much on that offside decision. Could have been in business. Fernando Freddy Poli Beautiful pass And do they mean business on this occasion? Oh, the threat is there Real chance Oh, a goal! They strike first And what a way to silence the crowd Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Oh, he's given the ball away. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Fernando. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Not the pass he had in mind. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, it's lovely technique, as you can see. He just wraps his foot around the ball and bends it beyond the keeper. That's a good goal. So 
So 2-0 now. Freddy. It's with Polly. Moving into the advanced position. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. I well, just couldn't play that decisive ball. Inler. And he read it well. well Taken away, he won the ball. Well, the visitors have controlled possession, as you can see. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Will he play it in? Very quick thinking there. Maria Baratelli. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Making excellent progress with the ball that is... A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. to say an incredible first half performance that scoreline tells you all you need to know and that was a very fine read Luis Adriano oh that's a fine pass the delivery well clattered away A good take under duress there. Well, he'll be irked with himself. Ran into an offside position. Losing possession a bit easily. Fernando and it's Adriano in possession oh surely not quite the clearance they were hoping for and so it is the first half story has been written Well, you have to wonder what's gone wrong for Mario Baratelli. Not really in the game very much at all. Yeah, he's not had his usual impact, has he? He just hasn't got on the ball in dangerous positions. He's got to keep working hard to find that little bit of space to make something happen, that's for sure. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Luis Adriano. It's with Polly. Couldn't keep it. Balotelli. Gukhan Inler. It's a neat move. Good effort here. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it.
They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Corner kick played in. Well, still an issue here. Gökhan Inler. Not away completely. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Thirty minutes to go then. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, able to close down the short. A chance to whip it in. This looks promising. Freddy. Can he finish this? This might be ideal for the counter. Agun. Balotelli. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Freddy. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Matias Vargas. And now Inler. Well, they keep the ball moving. Really nice ball. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. And time for the change now. And into the last 15 minutes of action. On and on he goes. In position. Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Delhi. Vargas with it. And space to cross it. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well thumped clear. Breaking at pace. 
All hands on deck. Poli. Read it superbly to take back possession. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. And fire against the crossbar. Vural. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. Never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now.